What's up everybody? Sparky991 coming at you with another video. Coming at you with my Eagles Colts um, preview. Eagles, of course, in week two, falling to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Disappointing loss, but of course we have to shake it off, man. Move forward. Next opponent. On to the Indianapolis Colts, man. Um, last year, of course, Eagles lost their week two game to, to the Kansas City Chiefs, and we all know what happened there. The Eagles were on one heck of a run and on their way to win the Super Bowl. So who knows, man? Cross our fingers. Cross our fingers, Eagle Nation. Hopefully history repeats itself, but we'll see. But yeah, put that Tampa Bay Buccaneers game behind us and focus on the Colts. Indianapolis Colts, you know, um, Andrew Luck um, was out all last year, of course. Andrew Luck is back. This game is the return of Carson Wentz. So, you know, Carson Wentz been out since the Rams game of last year. So it's great to have Carson Wentz back, and I, I'm very, very excited, man, to see Carson Wentz back in action. Um, not quite sure exactly what's going on with Alshon Jeffrey. Uh, I know for a fact he will not be playing this game, of course. Right now, um, Doug P's is saying it's a um, it's a week to week thing, you know. So, I, um, hopefully he's back soon. Obviously, we will not see him this game. Eagles um, sign, re signing um, um, re signing Jordan Matthews, of course. Jordan Matthews, um, you know, welcome back to the Eagles, of course. Welcome back. You know, you know, you know, we traded him last year for Ronald Darby and pretty much got him back for you know for free, pretty much. You know, we got him back. You know, we we won that trade with the um, the Bills a couple years ago. But yes, welcome back, Jordan Matthews. Hopefully, the chemistry with you and Carson Wentz is still there. You guys are in sync, man. And I'm, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm very happy to have you back, man. Um, what I'm hearing, um, Darren Sproles is probably gonna miss this game. Another game for Darren Sproles um, being out. Disappointed, but I'd rather have the injuries right now than later on in the season. Let these guys heal up, get healthy, man. And you know, as we try to make this playoff move, playoff um, push, of course. But on to this game, man. Um, Andrew Luck versus Carson Wentz. It's, you know, Andrew Luck versus Carson Wentz. I'm very, very excited for this. I'm very, very excited for this matchup because a lot of people like to compare Carson Wentz to Ben Roethlisberger. I've heard comparisons to Aaron Rodgers, but I've already felt like like his playing style. I've already felt like Carson Wentz had a very similar playing style to um, to um, Andrew Luck. So I'm looking very forward to seeing that matchup. You know. Um, head-to-head -head matchup between Carson Wentz and um, Andrew Luck. Um, one guy that the Eagles definitely got to watch out for, and he's a dangerous um, weapon, that's T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton is um, one of the best receivers in the game, in my opinion. Very fast, very quick guy. You know, he's going to be a guy that, you know, um, Jalen Mills, um, Jalen Mills, Ron Darby, um, you know, Sidney Jones, those guys are going to have to make sure they know exactly where he's at at all times when he's on that field because he he can he is a game changer. T.Y. Hilton is definitely a game changer and he's gonna be the biggest obstacle that we that we have to cover in order to win this game. Um their their offensive line is not very good. The coach of the offensive line is not very good. They've they you know they they've um they're a big reason why Andrew Luck has had a lot of injuries in his career. You know it's pretty pretty bad offensive line so that's a benefit to the Eagles, of course. You know, if they can get pressure, you know, penetrate that offensive line, get pressure to Andrew Luck, force him to make mistakes because Andrew Luck does make mistakes. That's one thing Andrew Luck does a lot of. When he's under pressure, he does tend to make some bonehead throws. So if the defense, if the defense can get pressure on Andrew Luck, they can they can force Andrew Luck to make mistakes because he will he will make mistakes when the pressure is on him. As for their defense, one guy you have to watch out for is their safety, Malik Hooker. Malik Hooker um, is a pretty good safety. That's one guy that would, would, you know you definitely gotta make sure you know he's at at all times on the field. Um, Jay Ajayi, I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on with Jay Ajayi. I've heard some, you know, back and forth that he may play. That them hearing stuff that he may not play. But if he's not playing, that we that everybody else need to come together. You know, we need we need commit. You know. Come, you know, we need Clement out there doing this thing. Of course, you know we, we need we need Clement, we need um, um Adams, we need all those guys, man. Just you know, get on, get out there, man, and um, you know, pick up the slack that we're missing from the J Train and Darren Sproles. Window Smallwood, of course, you know, Window Smallwood would definitely see some carries if that's the case. If J is not playing, 
we need all those guys, man, to want um, to take the pressure off Carson Wentz in his, you know, his first game back. You know, um, to try to take as much pressure as possible off Carson Wentz. We don't want Carson Wentz having to win this game with his arm. We want Carson Wentz to. We want this to be a game where Carson Wentz is getting back in sync, man. Like he's getting back and readjusting with his um with the team, man. You know, because right now we have a pretty depleted wide receiver core. Um, Nelson Aguilar, the re-sign Jordan Matthews, of course. Um, who, who else do we have out there? I'm trying to think. Kamar Aiken, of course. Kamar Aiken. So our receiver core right now is pretty depleted, and we need you know we we need a, a return of Carson Wentz to um. You know, just get back in the sink, man. Get back in the sink of things and don't put too much pressure on Carson Wentz, you know. Um, like I said, man, get the pressure on um, Andrew Luck. If you get pressure on Andrew Luck face, he will he will make mistakes. Uh, get that running game established, of course, for us offensively. Get that running game established. Get our boys, because I want to see more from my tight ends. Um, Zach Ertz, he played pretty, he played very very well in that game against the um, the Buccaneers. He played pretty well, a whole lot better than what he played in that game against the Falcons. So Zach Ertz, but I think he caught like eight passes or something like that. You know he he had a pretty good game. He had a pretty pretty good game. I want to see more Zach Ertz getting involved in the pass game. You know that's Carson that's Carson Wentz guy when it comes to uh, picking up the, you know picking up the first downs, moving the chains, man. That's his guy. I definitely want to see more Zach Ertz. But I want to see more Dallas Goddard. Like, Dallas Goddard, we have not seen much of him. He was brought in to be that guy, like, opposite of Zach Ertz in the past game blocking, man. We, we need we need to see more of Dallas Goddard. So I hope they get Dallas Goddard more involved in our offense in this game. Because Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard, if both of those guys are on, on, you know, on all centers, man, we could be a pretty tough offense to stop. A very, very tough offense to stop. Like I said, uh, T.Y. Hilton, you guys got to make sure defensively. You guys um, got burned pretty bad last week by um, Deshaun Jackson, Mike Evans, man. We can't have a repeat of that this year, this week. You know, T.Y. Hilton is a guy that you got to make sure is accounted for at all times. Because if you don't have him account, especially him in particular accounted for, he's going to burn you and he's going to make it, he, he, you know, he's going to burn you and make you look silly. So big, big time make sure that you have ty hilton accounted for on that field at all times definitely make sure he's accounted for at all times and like i said get this running game going man get the running game going take the pressure off carson wentz this game i'm expecting this to be a pretty good game i think it's i think this gonna be a game it's gonna be in the 20s score wise um i got the eagles win this game by a score of 20 um 24 to 21. I'm gonna go at 24 to 21. That's gonna be my score prediction for this game. Eagles um, at, at home in Philadelphia. You know, the, the Eagles crowd, as always, is gonna be loud. They're gonna be out there representing, and I expect the Eagles to defend home court, or excuse me, home field, and beat the Colts um, at at the link. You no, know, um, you no know, Eagles Nation. Of course, you guys, man, you guys are your, you know, you guys, um, you guys are the um, the 11 man, I guess, the 12 man, excuse me, the 12 man, I guess. You know, the link is always the one of the loudest stadiums to come to. My most loyal fan, one of the most loyal, most passionate fan bases in the league. Need those, need need everybody um, on their feet in this game, man. Like I said, I got the Eagles win this game by a score of 24-21. I think it's a pretty good, a pretty, you no know, good score prediction. 24-21, Eagles beating the Indianapolis Colts, going to 2 one go, no, going going to a record of 2-1. Um, that's my that's my um. My um my preview for this game. Um, you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. As always, go birds. Let's beat those Colts. Fly, Eagles, fly. Peace.